Welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Tooie Episode 7. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester with the Nisco. What's the Tooie stand for? T uh. Do we stand a chance against the 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 the, the fight today? Yeah, I don't sure. like this game that much. It's more banjo patooey to me. <laughs> well, it's, get, it's getting weird. I think it's getting a little banjo screwy up in here. Mmm. Let's carve up that barren bird. Make a good banjo stewy out of it. Well, we got to make it stick. So we need to have some banjo gluey. Uh. I should be AVGN. This is Banjo Pooey. Or if you want to get classy about it, it's Banjo Stooly. Uh, hmm. It's more of a medicinal term. You know, I was just thinking, I'm getting over a cold. This is Banjo. Let's do it! <laughs> bumper cars? Yep, yeah, it's a bumper car match! Bumper cars! It, Basically, it... you gotta run. <laughs> so, uh, remember the Twinklies? Yeah. From Free Easy Peak, you gotta run them over now. Aw, why? You gotta run them over and they score points! Wow, so this is just like the kickball tournament we had. It's the kickball tournament, it's Mr. Vile in Bubble Gloop Swamp. Using assets from Free Easy Peak. You are kicking his ass! There's three rounds, let's not get too comfortable here, but uh... You are killing him! You, you, you can kind of predict where he's going. Oh, I thought he was just following you. He kind of is, because I'm where all everything is, but uh, this, this is just... Just kind of easy. Oh, this is disgusting. Oh, he's already dead. Please, leave something for his family to mourn over. It's actually, you need to get a certain number of points. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's just there to be annoying. Aha. Uh -huh. Two more challenges to go. Wait a minute, you beat it within 81 points? Does that mean you needed no points in order to advance to the round two? <laughs> now we got two of them. Ah, okay. I guess I misunderstood the rules. Well, good thing they're blithering idiots. I think you'll be fine. So we need to get 50 points in 45 seconds. I'm starting to think that the idiot in the yellow helmet thinks he is putting his car in R for race. <laughs> R for her! <laughs> Hold on, an enemy's coming towards me. Let me put it in R for rut row. <laughs> Get out of here. Now I'm gonna put it in D for dinner. Because <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm just famished. I feel like pizza, so I'm gonna put it in P for. <laughs> I'm just thinking, Banjo drives off a cliff. I put it in N for no. So I want a pizza, <laughs> so I'm gonna get two of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's just firing the hot pizza. Your, tra your transmission is fucked. <laughs> nope, nope, just pepperoni. <laughs> I want chicken bacon ranch tonight. <laughs> no! Oh. You know, putting pizza in an exhaust pipe, not the best idea. Gives it a nice hickory smoke flavor, though. Ooh. <laughs> These black parts. <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> it's bracing flavor. <laughs> you know, I think Banjo is the type to, like, smell markers and then try to eat Play-Doh or something like that. Yeah, the kind of markers you're not supposed to smell. Like, 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 Sharpies. <laughs> yeah, not even the smelly kind of mark. <laughs> just, just, just straight up inhales a Sharpie. Ooh, baby. Because <laughs> it was like, Banjo, I don't think that you should... <laughs> I probably got the best idea, Banjo. <laughs> oh, you don't know nothing. You know, his, his nose used to be white. <laughs> <laughs> Go, huh? With me, Kazooie. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. See, Banjo's secretly... Come on, you gotta sniff these Sharpies, too. And that's why the tip of her beak is red. <laughs> Kazooie is secretly a narc. <laughs> Banjo's getting high all the time. Somebody had to turn him in. How many did we need, by the way? Uh, we got, we got enough. We're good. Okay. Yeah, this seems like a really easy challenge, by the way. If you just keep moving and go towards groups, you should be fine. So if, if you just stand around and go, Huh, I should go ahead. I should go this way. You nearly matched your score in every single round. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. 
These three are idiots. They they uh, clump together. Use that to your advantage. Make wide curves. Just go around in a clockwise motion. You'll be fine. Oh, so they're the marker sniffers. Yeah, they're the uh, rubber glue sniffers. Which was a bad day to stop sniffing glue. It's basically what we're doing uh, for the rest of this. Uh, still kind of doing what we can, but it's a lot of mini games and using a lot of the stuff that we turned on last episode. I thought you were about to say sniffing glue. <laughs> uh, sorry, sir, this isn't that type of Let's Play. Well, we're not sniffing glue, but we are getting high. <laughs> oh, all right, all right, I'll kill you. You gotta, you gotta twist my arm about it, all right. Kill me, kill me, kill me. Hey, Banjo, kill me. <laughs> kill me, kill me. All right! <laughs> oh, thank you, Banjo. That guy annoys me, I'm glad he's dead. I miss him already. So yeah, Spitty Stars, it's it's a difficult platforming challenge, basically. Oh, yeah! what is that garbage? That's a, it's a shooting star. <laughs> That's... Fall to Earth, me, you're right. Fall from grace. Oh, hey, are you on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? Because you're a star to me. Nah. Well, it's not much, but hey, it's a star. You get a gold star. <gasps> and there it is. 3D platforming at its best. Ha! Yeah. Ah. Okay, good. Seven years before Mario Galaxy. Two whole consoles. Banjo Galaxy. Oh, that was a lot of fall damage. Yeah, Jesus, I didn't even notice. Oh, thank God there's a beehive over there. Please heal. Please heal. Yeah, we're good here. Please heal. We're good. Please heal. We're fine. It's all good, no worries. The guy you killed is going to come back He's and fine. kill you. We're, we're out of there now. He's not, he's not going to follow us. It's all, it's all, it's all, it's all peachy keen. See, look at that. Coming back already. You know what, you're right. Maybe I should go to the theme park next door, bitchy world. <laughs> well, I, I know you like to tell it a lot of people. You said you were a narc, so maybe you should go over next door to snitchy world. Ooh, you know what? I think Banjo should take up live streaming. He should go to twitchy world. Ow! Oh, I cut open my leg pretty good. I need to go to stitchy world. Hold on, let me get a note. No! Welcome to pitchy world. What do you do when, uh, where do you think Popeye goes to, to, uh, get stronger? Okay, 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 okay. He goes as a spinachy world. <laughs> hey, what's the glitch? <laughs> Sorry, I went to glitchy world. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun with the visuals on that one. <laughs> I was just saying I was gonna go play Breath of the Wild and Super Mario Odyssey and Metroid You're going Dread. to switchy I'm world! I'm going to switchy world! Yeah! Speaking of which, I never asked you. Since Microsoft is playing nice, do you think- Ah, it's an evil Jinjo! What? It's a Minjo! They look like Jinjos and they sound like Jinjos, but they're evil! You can kill them! That's a thing? That's a thing! I don't like that. I know! A collectible actually fighting back? Oh no. It's- no, it's an enemy that's masquerading as a collectible. Why are collectibles living things? Like, why can I go up to Jin a Jinjo and say, You're my collectible now. I've collected you. <laughs> You're mine. Are you trying to pop the bouncy ha castle? There's, there's a bit of physics to this. Oh. So you can start by... Oh, you gotta get that, uh... Right over there, use a grenade egg. Oh. Now the way to the honeycomb is open. <laughs> he was just stretching. He did it in a threatening manner! Oh, okay. Ah, the Pump Master 2! Hmm. Wait. Don't need anything here right now. Wait, Gotta what? do something else. No, you had Pump Master 2. We got the way to Pump Master 2 open, but there's some things you gotta do first. Oh. Oh, I see. I'm going over to Pump Master 1! We're gonna go actually to Jam Jar. Er... You know, his bro- I keep forgetting what his name is. You know what? I'm just going home! Don't go to this guy! Boy. Hey, teach me a thing! This is the pack whack! Uh, oh. Banjo now has a melee attack when he's, uh, not with Kazooie. I thought he already did! He had fisticuffs! He has nah. bold bear paws! Well, this is better! Oh. Well, that's good. Oh. 
Gotcha. Come here. Oh. Come here. Come here. There you go. Much better range. Uh, I, I can't wait to see the the craziness of a lot of these moves. And, and now that I've seen Banjo like whip around his backpack, I can only imagine his next move is that's my purse. <laughs> I don't know you. <laughs> then kick him in the crotch. <laughs> we need to split up to get in the pump room. So why weren't the buttons in the pump room? Just curious. Well, that'd be that'd be way too easy. Well, okay. If it's in the same room, it's busy work. If it's out of the room, it's a challenge. Is that how you explain Donkey Kong 64? Were any of those particularly challenging, or was it all busy work? It was all busy work. Well, there you go. Okay. You weren't challenged. Here, you're challenged! <gasps> I guess the difference is if you have any fun or not. No. Except for the part where I wasn't having fun, I'm still having fun. And this right here, I'm having fun with. So a lot of this we still need to do just as Kazooie, so I'm bringing Banjo over here to get him out of the way. So Kazooie can go do her thang. Hey, you um! <laughs> her thang, apparently, is getting beaten up in a city street. Ooh, what's in the bouncy castle? Oh, bouncy castles. See, I can go in that door when I'm Banjo and Kazooie, and this door is only open because I am just Kazooie. It's a little mini game for her. You it's the hoop hurry challenge. Yeah, you weren't kidding when we we're doing just all mini games. It's a lot of stuff that we've activated. And, well, I mean, it is an amusement park, and yeah, I'd oh, expect yeah. it to be a mini games in an amusement park. Makes sense. Be amused. <laughs> How amusing! <laughs> I'm happy. So blues three, greens two, reds one. Get the points in the time. Go for it. Take, take the take the shoes on and go for it. Three, two, one, Geo. I think those are the same point values as the um, the Twinklies that you just got. Yeah, it's 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 a common theme. A lot of things, you know, blue three, green well, two, red one. I would not recommend going for solely the red ones though. But it's better to go through a hoop than not go through one at all. I understand. Go through a red one that just appeared instead of going for a green one that will disappear by the time you get to it. Ooh, they're different sizes, too. Uh-huh. I like it. Try and go for the three. It's challenging. Oh, you got this. You got this. And make sure you have good depth perception. You got it. Well. And make sure you trick the hit detection. So, oh, come you on. got this. I got come it. It's on. fine. It's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. I got it. Stop yelling at me. It's fine. Don't yell at me. I'm it's sorry. fine! It's, it's it's fine! You got it. 33. You 30, 30, 34. Okay, how many do I need? 35? You needed 30. Well, I, I got it. It's all good. Two. Oh, maybe you did need 35. Okay. Grunty scared me there. I thought she was just like, nah, I don't want to give it to you. She could do that. She is within her right. Going, you know what? You're not going to get it. Sorry. I would just have to go over there and smack a hoe because I've got the bag whack now or whatever it's called. All right, now we got to go back in as Banjo and Kazooie. You got to pop the bounce castle. <laughs> hey, stupid, let's go. I learned a new move, Kazooie. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> I can now hit stuff with my backpack! Marge! <laughs> <laughs> I can hit stuff with my backpack! Oh, Banjo! Ow! <laughs> oh, come on, Kazoo! <laughs> that has to be cursed artwork out there somewhere. I mean, I don't think anybody's as demented as we are when coming up with that scenario. Homer, Marge, Zooey? <laughs> Oh, the Sip Zooey. So here we go, B blue, green, red again. It's, oh. it's the same thing except for flying around. <laughs> <laughs> the Jinjos are... <laughs> are Bart and Lisa. Maggie. Alright, spin around! Oh Shit, my god! Just go! Oh, They're everywhere! God, I have motion sickness, I am no, sorry! Oh god! <laughs> oh, you're shooting golden eggs. Implying, I think, that it's infinite. Oh, that's good. Just, just, yeah, hold the trigger down and go crazy. You'll, you'll, you'll probably hit something. 
And how many points did you need? Uh, see, I, I look away. Hopefully three. Oh my god, I'm getting sick. I, I, I know. I don't know if I'm glad or upset that they did this all in first person. Mm, I don't like this. I'm not, I'm, it's, it's nauseating in first person, but it's also easier. Uh, if it's in third person, I think it'd be even worse. Oh, Think about it. Oh, third. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just trying to think of Simpsons quotes. You have Grunty falling off of her tower as the rock's coming down. I'm in danger. <laughs> It's okay, Grunty. You did your best, and you failed miserably. The lesson is, never try. <laughs> oh. Guys like me, I'm a guy like me. <laughs> <laughs> it, see, don't get me started. I'll just do Simpsons quotes all day. <laughs> they match, though. See, now I'm thinking, like, Mumbo might be comic book guy. Maybe. Worst shimmin ever. <laughs> yeah, Humbo is his comic book guy. <laughs> Bubble claims he is a claimed shaman. It is not the case. I find he is amateurish and far too, <laughs> far too weak a shaman to be considered the best in the game. What was the name of the camel in this game? Gobi. Gobi. You're doing your job well, Mr. Shun. Go Gobi Mole Man. <laughs> <laughs> And now I present to you... I'm going to the lava <laughs> world! I now present to you my comedy, Old Man Gets Kicked in Crotch. <laughs> no! Camel gets stomped on hump! <laughs> no. Yes, but no. I know you played the granddad theme of Banjo-Kazooie, but I wonder if there's a Simpsons theme of the Banjo-Kazooie theme. Oh my god! So, you can do a couple things here. I mean, uh, I, I decided to shoot that from all the way over there. Oh my there. god, are you, you secrets can, breaking? You, 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 you secrets breaking over there? It's, it's a, a little bit. A little bit of secrets not, breaking? Not a whole lot. There we go. Sorry. I'm sure you can go up one more octave. <laughs> With this voice? Nope. Check it out, it's the box from, from chapter two, and now it's a spaceship! Yeah. Oh, it's a spaceship, Buzz. <laughs> <laughs> you are a sad, strange little bear. And you have my pity. Farewell. Uh, gotta find a way up there first. Okay, do um, you just like randomly quote movies from your childhood? Sometimes, you know, like when the occasion pops up. Like every time I look at something dangerous and it says to not give it to children, I have to read it as. Extremely dangerous. Keep out, out of, of reach, reach of, of children. children. With that spacing, keep out of reach of, of children. Yes. So, yes. Yeah, there, there's a lot of scenarios where I'm just... I'm not even thinking of the movie, and then all of a sudden I'm quoting the movie. There we go. Like, there are entire sections of a movie that I can just recite. Out of nowhere. Ready for another minigame? Absolutely. All right, well, tell me more about your, uh, the references you'd like to do while we go through this. Now, we're gonna go through all of the sections of the level on with an on-rail shooting section, and we need to get a certain amount of points to get the jiggy. Yep, sounds good. Okay, so Toy Story's a big one. The Saucer of Peril Ride. When the crosshairs appear, you press the triggers to fire at the targets. There's gonna be a lot of them. Blue targets are worth three, green two, red hey, one. Yeah, yeah. Mini games. Anyway, a lot. We of need five hundred points. points. Ugh. Do the prizes stack at least? Please. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a little. Yeah, go ahead and do. Let's that. go over to set. Go ahead. Yeah, and do that. There's no way I'm gonna go through all that and flipped axis you you hear out of your goddamn mind i want the i want the i want the uh the reticle to go where i'm aiming it so yep hope, hope you got a quick fast fingers there tex jesus really whoa 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 nice shooting tex 
That is a Ghostbusters reference, and I've never seen the movie all the way through. That is sad. It is, it is a great movie. It is very sad. I mean, I just recently watched Venom, and it's been out for long enough. What do you think of Venom? Uh, I mean, it didn't blow my socks off, but I really enjoyed it. You can't, I can't watch movies expecting my socks to get blown off, because then they never will. I just gotta watch the movie and see it as is, and Venom on its own, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I think people were expecting it to be like Spider-Man or the MCU, no, it, even though it's... it's an origin story. It's, it's not. It's not it's, gonna happen. It's, it's, it's a side story. It's like Spider-Man Gaiden. Now, sorts. I, I did read a couple, um, a couple of Rotten Tomatoes reviews, which, you know, take those with a grain of salt, as you, if you will. 30% is way too low for that movie. No, it's, it's extremely low. That's, it's, it's and, not right. You know, the, the bitching about Tom Hardy's acting, he was doing fine. He was doing, he was great! He was I, fine! I, I will say, though, it did sound like he was intoxicated for half of his line reads. Which, you know, that just comes with being Eddie Brock, so... Yeah, I, I think it's part of his character. I mean, if he yeah. is wasted, well, he's a great method actor. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And Tom I, Hardy, you did all your lines and perfectly. I have seen actors show up drunk to their, you know... Yeah. <laughs> he was not that wasted no, if he was. No, no, no. he was... No, he was perfectly fine. It's and, like, if I act like this, and there's not a drunk, but, you know... Oh, oh fuck. Oh. What did I do last night? You watch a lot, of, like you watch a lot of Uva Bowl movies, and a lot of those actors showed up drunk. <laughs> Absolutely. So you watch anything that Steven Seagal has been in the past fifteen years? Yeah. No way, that guy. Like, you, you seen any of his shit? No. My God, he, he he wears the same glasses all the time in everything he's ever in, even real life, and. Everything he does always sounds like this. He always keeps that low profile. Motherfuckers don't even know what the fuck is going on right now. Steven Skull isn't even in, like, three quarters of the movies he makes. It's all stunt doubles. It's all stunt doubles, and whenever he is in something, he has to sit down, and he's gonna deliver a monologue, and he acts at people, and he says stuff the camera's rolling, and now it's part of the movie. Do you know that motherfucker has his own soda? Or had his own soda. But I bet it tastes like shit, and it's flat. And the best part is, the commercial is just like him next to bikini-clad babes, saying, the soda will make you hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta go get me something. Oh, yeah. I wanna be hot. I wanna be a bikini babe. <laughs> yeah. It turns you into a bikini babe. Oh, wait. Do I gotta sit by, by uh... Yes. I gotta sit by Steven Seagal if I yes. drink the soda? Oh, You're man. basically drinking his swill, is what I'm saying. Uh, yeah. Hard pass. Uh, yeah, hard pass. I, I, I got some old Bruce Willis uh, soda, though. Mm. Uh, damn it. No way. That, no way. That's the second no place way. prize. No! Come on! That's the second place prize. You were right that way. Well. It was a Cheeto page. But now we have to do it all oh, over again. Oh, all God. over again. To get the jiggy. Uh, so we get the Cheeto page. Hey, we can we can get a new Cheeto cheat now. That's cool. Uh, here we go again! Well, the saucer of peril, but luckily, the power of hindsight and the power of a really well placed fast forward button that'll hit here. Oh wait. Oh, okay. It's gotta take some time to speed up and there we go. Anyway, do you have Disney Plus? I do. So you've watched all the Marvel shows, yeah? I have not watched What If because I do not care. Okay. Well, I mean, like, the live-action ones. Everything else I have watched and I adore. Okay. I might have to borrow your Disney Plus just so I can watch Loki and WandaVision. You gotta add Fan Falcon and Winter Soldier to that as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I forgot about that one. I'm sorry. Yeah, d that's that's a must. No, I did want to watch that, yes. Matter of fact, in that, in that order. WandaVision, Falcon, Loki. Can't go wrong. Isn't that the order that came out? Yes, and it fits. Okay. Now, do they go with the extended universe? Like, do they help one another out? Um... It is... <clears throat> hey, Steven Seagal, when did you get here? <laughs> it is time. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's, it's tying up some loose ends of, uh, of uh, Phase 3 and setting up for Phase 4. Ah, good. Tinted at a little bit in uh, WandaVision. It's setting up a movie directly for Captain Falcon and uh, the, the Winter Captain Soldier. Captain Falcon. <laughs> that's, that is his name now. That, that's all. That's all I can say. He's Captain America and Falcon. He's Captain Falcon. Yeah, Bucky comes out. It's like you ready to go take on these terrorists, and he's like, oh, "Yeah, show your moves." <laughs> he 
has to do like one strong move to defeat. Uh, I don't know. Any and then Captain Loki, America's. And then Loki is basically kicking things off with a, "Oh my God, what are you doing? What have you done? I like it. What have you done? I what like have it. you done? What have you done? See, I love it, and I can't wait for the Sony Spider Verse and the Marvel Spider Verse to come together. Because uh, Venom fighting Carnage, that's the whole reason I watch Venom. Is so I can be hyped for Carnage. I want to watch it. So this is Kanga. Oh, the guy who threw Kanga. oranges at us in the first in the first level of the first game. Hi, it looks like he's hit hard times. He's Now he's running, running a carnival in Vichy World. Uh, and, uh... So we got some tickets from some enemies we killed, so here's your tickets. <laughs> Take your fucking tickets! Because now we're heading to the boss arena. Uh, what? It's boss time! Oh, I forgot they had bosses. It's boss time, floss time. Everybody do... Everybody do the floss! How, 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 do you, how do you floss? I don't know how to... UDJ is doing a floss in his chair. I don't know how to floss. It's really... I think it's... You know, you have to have one arm behind you. It's kick. Two grown men trying to figure out how to floss. In, in a chair, no less. I mean, I tried to do the behind and... Ow! Oh, duh. Well... <laughs> you're Ow! Done, you're done to... Oh. Ah. Ugh. It lo looks a little harsh. But, oh my god. Uh, oh, oh, oh. It's a big inflatable monster. Oh, oh no. Mr. Patch? Mr. Patch. Oh, come on. They could have come up with a better name. I'd put a big clown nose on him. It'd be Patch Adams. He'd destroy us with the power of comedy. Even though Patch Adams was not a comedy. Oh, sure it was. It had Robin Williams in it, and he was a clown, and he told jokes. It was funny. Uh-huh. You don't have cancer anymore, kid. Ha-ha-ha-ha. Ha-ha! Ha-ha! Ah, classic! Oh, that Robin Williams. Oh, oh, oh. I double, I double feature that with Van Wilder. ha <laughs> God, I miss him so much. I know. I miss all of our best comedians. Gone before their time. God damn it. We gotta find a flight pad around here so we can fly around and kill him. What? He is friggin' huge! He, he's quite large. I think I think that's them showing us saying, Hey, check out what happens when we get rid of all the environment and, uh, and uh, have a big op open empty room. We can have a gigantic boss like this! Does he have an inflatable dong? I... Uh, With a pull tab? I, I think that's his pull tab. Ah! Oh, oh... That's a Schween! Oh, that's not right, Rare! That's this a is dong. a game for kids! This is a game for kids! Come on! He has a curly peen! Get rid of it! So the idea is we gotta hit the patches, and that's gonna make him lose Lord. all of his air, but we gotta hit every single one of his goddamn patches. <laughs> Lord. Oh, what the hell is that? That's a thing that... Oh, I... That's either a thing that'll that'll hurt you, so that way you can get off the ground. Cause yeah, there we go. Oh, it's just a constant enemy. So that way you can't stand there and just take pot shots uh, at him. You have to get on the flight pad and take him out in the air. Oh, good. You have to. I with love it. Eggs. I wonder if you stand on the fly pad, will it come up and attack you? I have not checked. <laughs> But fortunately, he's made of rubber, so he doesn't really hurt you. Oh, that's good. Then why is he a threat? It's just a punch glove. That's a threat. Right. And uh, you gotta run out of uh, feathers at some point, don't you? Well, that's true. You gotta run out of eggs at some point. You gotta go down and get more eggs, don't you? Alright, stop making good points. Gotta have a challenging boss, don't you? Just kill- <laughs> Just kill the dong. Kill him dead. The dongosaur. Dongosaurus. Tyrannosaurus e Rex. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, hate it. No, I hate it. <laughs> I'm such a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Patch is more like, Patch your pants, I see your dong. Get out of here. Wow, you barely aimed for that and it still hit. You, you just gotta kinda feel it. This isn't exactly an exact method of aiming. I think he wants to die. 
Can you imagine? Uh, oh. Drap. All right. Well, oh, he's got balls. Guys, he's, he's, he's got dick and balls. He, he's got a dog and balls. That is what we're dealing with here. This is a game for no! kids. He's also much smaller, which means he's harder to hit. Ah, oh, where's his last one? It's straight on the tip. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no! It's in the folds of my ball sack! <laughs> so what'd you do today, Banjo and Kazooie? Oh, we fought a giant cock and balls. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, he's like coughing those out, too. That's not healthy. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, now he's itty bitty! If it weren't for the molehill, I could just take him out right here. He's itty bitty! Ah! Where's his last patch? I think it's on his shoulder or something. Just gotta get more eggs, though. Oh, come on. He's, he didn't One have that much left. Let, let me do patch. it on the ground now. Huh? Let me do it on the ground. Oh, Serpentine. There, there Serpentine. It Serpentine. There it is. I don't see it. It's on his side there. Oh, oh there it is. Then he's, of course, gonna be covering. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Yeah. Gotta fly around again. I love the panic firing. What is he got to hit? Right, come on. And fire. Yeah. Maybe I can like splash damage. Snipe him from the side. Splash damage. I like the idea of splash damage. Make a big sploosh. Sploosh. Sploosh damage. Sploosh, sploosh. damage. Sploosh. Oh, he's right there. No, oh, come on. Oh, I'm getting close no, to the ground. No, no. There you go. All right, I, I, I did it. Yeah. Goodbye, cock and balls. Uh oh. It's okay, it happens to everybody. Please, thank you. Please deflate. Phew! You know, I just realized that camera angle was from underneath the floor. You can't hide from me, Rare. I know your secrets. We have to get it while, on, while in the air! You know, there we go. Just take it. I am definitely not a fan of the level design for Banjo-Tooie, especially later on when it gets kinda really confusing. But, at least, the Jiggies are pretty self-explanatory. That Star is nice. Start a thing, do a thing, there it is. Uh, so, do a thing, there it is. Look look under a thing, there it is. Go over to this place, there it is. You gotta do- oh, uh, alright, you gotta be complicated for this one. You gotta hit this switch, get this thing, go over here, and then there it is. Speaking of which, how far are we? Well, there's a lot we gotta do still. Really? Yeah. Feels like we've been here forever. We have, and we're done here for now, but we still gotta come back. For the, for the inevitable backtracking. Oh, right. Well, that's not nearly as bad. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. So, where are we heading next? Well, there's a couple of things we can end up doing. First, we'll head back to the Jinjo Village because we have enough Cheeto pages! Ooh, okay. We also have to go to Jiggy Wiggy to open up the next couple of levels. Right. I don't think I need to go into their villages at all. Oh, here we go. Let's just head back to Cheeto. He's just vibing, dude. Just vibing. He's just waiting for Banter to come back with all of his pages. Reading a good book. You know, I, there should be a, a special beeper that I give him to let him know I've got enough pages for him. Good, 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 good. You know what that would be? Wait, wait, wait. Say it again. It's a special beeper to let him know I've got pages for him. Um, it's a pager. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, oh, it hurts. I'm like Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> I'm the page master. <laughs> eggs. Yep, eggs. <laughs> <laughs> so, same as the blue eggs cheat, uh, you get double eggs, uh, double of all eggs, which would have been nice for the boss fight. Eggs. Yeah. So he's gotta go back to Mayhem Temple and enter it, and there we go. You know, I would actually like it if the more pages you gave him, the better he looked. <laughs> yeah. Show me the eggs. I want you! Show me the eggs! I want you show me the eggs. E G G S. 
Oh, I thought it accidentally hit Q. <laughs> cool. Uh, max eggs. Double max eggs. Double max eggs. So that's 50 grenade eggs and uh, 200 regular eggs. Ooh, I didn't think it did it for your alternate ones. Oh, it does it for all of them. Ooh. And boop. Love it. Excellent, excellent. That'll probably count for the other egg types we'll get too. It's next time on Banjo Kazooie. The next level. Thank you.